the key to a strong marriage is having a trophy wife and a rich husband, according to a study. Oh, really? It works for some. Oh, well, then I wonder why my first marriage ended up in divorce. I'm not a trophy wife, I you guess. Know, <laughs> I just had this conversation. You did? Yesterday with a gal that I'm talking to. Oh. Now, it wasn't what? in the context of our dynamic. Okay. But it was just in general. Like that works? Do you agree I know that that makes I people like this. I think okay. we all know a couple like that. I know mm-hmm. you do. Mm-hmm. I do. Uh, and I think that it can work. But here's the thing, because I think people look at that headline and they say, that's so superficial. But here's mm-hmm. the thing. Context is important. If both people, if the rich husband and the trophy wife accept that that's the kind of relationship that they want. That's role? Okay. I, I think it's superficial. I'm not, I, I know there are some people out there that are going to think I'm making a moral judgment here. I think it's superficial, but if both people consciously accept, yeah, I know I'm rich. Yeah, I know she's a trophy wife. That's the roles we want to play. And they're confident and secure in being that way. Then more power to them and let them be that way. It's a certain care. type of person. I agree. That can handle this. Well, when I was reading this study, they're called maximizers. What's that mean? Maximizers are people who always want to make the best decision. Like they get the best pair of shoes. Not like me who I was like, oh, I know that style is in. I'm going to go find that style at Target. <laughs> right? Because it's going to be that's cheaper. Fancy. I was thinking TJ Maxx personally. <laughs> right? but Or they get um, the best, most successful type of job. They're maximizers. I think I get it. What else? So the, the, it's right. pragmatism, right? Best I, possible choice. I was yeah. reading here. It says... Um, even the like study- restaurants, the best restaurants, yeah. they know the best thing to order off the menu. They order the best wine. It says a new study finds that having an attractive wife or high status husband may make a marriage stronger for people who put stock in making the best decision. Mm-hmm. And what I calculated that as just now in my head is the most pragmatic decision. But don't we all want to make the best decision? Like we all have that, like I've never been like, oh, I would like to make average decisions. No, or I'm choosing poor decisions. I've done it, but we all have that intention. Well, the question I have, are are there people watching this that believe that this is the right way to go about it? Whether you are the trophy wife or whether you are the rich rich guy, rich husband, maybe you're in a relationship like that. Mm -hmm. And if you would be so kind to share that and why it works for you and what the details of why it works are, I'm so curious to know. You're like, yeah, I do want that. It is me and I like it and I'm happy. I mean, it is really appealing, obviously, to men, I'm sure, to have a gorgeous woman on your arm and be like, look what I got. Right? Isn't that the guy thing? But for a woman, too. Isn't it appealing for you guys to have attractive men by your side? Yes, it is. It also makes you very nervous that every girl is going to try to steal them away from you. Well, I mean, it's not like we don't get... That's the one thing I wouldn't like. It's not like we don't get nervous that uh, attractive women are going to be stolen away from... Men feel the same way. I feel like women are more jealous that way. What is that quote? If you want to sleep at night, don't marry a beautiful woman. Or if you want to be happy for the rest of your your life, life. never Mm -hmm. make a pretty Mm -hmm. woman Mm -hmm. your wife. (laughs) I just (laughs) say, this is why I talk on the radio because I'm not supposed to sing on the radio. But I also think for a woman, it is, we were raised almost to, especially women in my generation, to find a man that can provide for you. I think it, we, it's learned or innate or something that you're like, okay, I'm going to have babies someday and maybe I'm not going to be able to work for a while. So I need somebody to provide for me and a good provider is going to make a strong marriage. I know, I know there's many people out there that don't like our traditional point of view and may get very upset and think that we're being, you know, I don't know, not very progressive or anti-feminist even. Oh. That's not what I'm saying or you're saying, I think, because we have these discussions all the time because you and I are like fam now. I'm like, mm-hmm. we get each other. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the deal. I think that pragmatism is important in a relationship in those regards. Like, I think evolutionarily, women want a sense of security in a guy that has his together. Not Mm -hmm. just financially, but otherwise. Like, they want a Mm -hmm. serious, secure man that knows what he wants and can, hey, you know what? Like, don't leave me out in the cold here. I want my kids to be taken care of if I'm going to go through the struggle of having a child. And that's less stressful in marriage, in my opinion, in in the relationship. If you don't have to worry about that stuff, if, like... You know, something... Is this a, sorry. Oh. Wait for it. Happy for the rest I'm not going to dance. <laughs> Make a pretty sorry. woman your wife. Um, what was I saying? You interrupted my thought. My thought sorry. was that it, it makes it a strong marriage to have a rich husband 
this is what I'm thinking through because you're not stressed about money. Something breaks in and the car. And that's a real stress. That's like the number yeah. one stressor of a relationship. So, 60% of divorces are because of money. If the car breaks down, no big deal. Go get a new one. Right. You know, oh, no stress. Family trip, no problem. No problem, huh? Healthcare, no problem. Yeah, you want more fun and joy in your life? Vacation, woo! Yeah, I, I get that part of it. But, you know, we grew up in a pretty, <clears throat> excuse me, a pretty egalitarian household. Both my mom and my dad, everything was shared equally. That's cool. Like, the money, the responsibilities, everything. And I'm thankful that I grew up in a house like that. I so did it, not. it worked for them. Yeah. That's what they wanted, their philosophy yeah. and vision was to have a household like that. And it rubbed off on me. Like, mm -hmm. I think there was some point in my 20s where I was like, I want a hot girl trophy wife. Like, that was me for a little while. And then I was like, nah, I don't think that's going to work for me because like every part of me was like, I don't think that I'm going to be happy long term because I can't settle for that. I want a woman that, that has her own. Mm -hmm. I want a woman that's got it, got it going on. That she's got her own education, doesn't need me, doesn't need my money, doesn't need anything but true, profound emotional support and love. Like, yes. that's the ideal that I'm trying to achieve personally. I mean, we all want to figure out what is the secret to a strong marriage. And there is not one that obviously applies to every relationship. No, it's just it about you. And, you know, I've seen plenty of relationships where mm -hmm. this dynamic exists between rich man and uh, trophy wife. And they are married forever. And they're fine with that. Mm -hmm. And everybody has their role and everybody, you know, does their thing. I think more people would agree with me, even though you may not admit to this. And we can close with this This is a good thought. point. I okay. like the way you said that. I think you're right. Um, I feel like there is one most important thing to make a strong marriage. It's one thing. Do I, do I think you, I know what this is? Yeah, and if as long, I think this is the universal it's, one thing. It. Tell it's the, the truth. It's the universal all. one thing S that makes you have a strong marriage. Good sex. It's a good sex life. I agree with that. My sister told That's all me. You need. I wish I could get my sister on the line right now and she would agree with you. She said so many times in couples counseling, she's a therapist, yeah. a psychologist. She said, if it weren't for the fact that the couple had a really good sexual chemistry, mm -hmm. the relationship would be no more. It's the one last thing that holds them together. Yep. By hook or by crook. That's all you need. And That's by hook and by crook, I don't mean that as a euphemism. I think we just solved the breakdown of the family in this Have more episode. sex, your family will be fine. All right, great. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Have a good day. Bye.